I'm Chris Graham for the Genesee Sun here at Geneseo Central as we bring a fall preview to you for the upcoming sports season. As you can see behind me, the football team is already practicing. We'll talk to the soccer team as well. Interviews with players and coaches to come. So please enjoy the fall sports preview for the Geneseo Blue Devils. We're here with Geneseo Blue Devils head coach Tim Dolgus for the football team. Coach, it was a, a rebuilding year. I know I talked to you a little bit last year. You were hoping it wasn't going to be that for your seniors. But the advantage sometimes of a rebuilding year, getting some young players to play, what did you like about the aspects of last season as far as getting those guys playing time? Uh, well, pretty much everybody we had up front for at least a portion of the season was new. Nobody backed down. Uh, all the kids, you know, accepted their roles, uh, stepped up when we needed them to. We ran into a, a good deal of adversity throughout the season, be it through injuries and uh, whatever else came our way. Um, but the kids got experience, and as tough as it was, uh, we didn't have a single kid quit. And a year where we went through probably more difficulty than any year that I've coached, uh, we actually didn't lose a player. So to me, that says these guys got a lot of heart. They got a lot of character. Um, they stuck with it when it wasn't good, uh, and, and hopefully this is uh, it'll pay off for them this year. Let's talk about the quarterback position, Jay Clare, Trevor Frazier. What do you expect out of them this year? Uh, I expect them both to compete hard uh, and to both expect to play the position, to both work hard in practice, push each other, uh, push themselves, and really what it comes down to is you know, whoever gives us the plays that we feel are our best plays, um, the, the best chance of those plays being successful, that's going to be the guy who's in there. Uh, I mean, it's an open competition. I think in, in high school at the varsity level, most things are, but I uh, expect both those guys to stay positive and give 100% effort every single day. And obviously this year you're hoping for better results than next year. What are your expectations for this team as this uh, young unit starts to move forward? Well, we're going to sit down and do our goal sheets right now, and that's individual and team. And um, I'm going to put that on them. <clears throat> I mean, my expectations are that they work every day in practice and get better as football players, better as people. Uh, we get closer as a family. Um, how that translates on the field, uh, we'll see. But um, the expectations for the season, that's something that we're going to put to them right now. And uh, we're going to put that in their hands because it's, uh, it's their team. So we will see if the Geneseo Blue Devils football team can climb over the adversity that they faced last year and come together more as a unit. Hey, we're here with varsity soccer coach Chris Masters. Coach, you've now had back-to-back -back sectional titles. You're coming in with a very loaded senior team. What are some of the early expectations for this uh, this team for the upcoming season? Uh, well, early on, we, we just want to make sure we're, we're playing together as a team and uh, you know getting better every day. I think that's always a goal at the beginning of the season, just get, get better every day. and. Uh, you know, if you can get wins, great, and uh, if not, you just you got to improve. And But becoming a team, I think, is the most important thing. There's a certain team from sectionals that's given you guys some trouble over the last couple of years. You get them in the regular season. What are you looking forward to that game? Oh, definitely, yeah. We, uh, uh, we look forward we look to playing forward them. To playing them. Every, every chance we get, uh, we like the challenge that they, they bring us. And, uh, you know, it's something that, you know, we haven't done it in a while to beat them. So we're, we're definitely looking forward to that game. And that, and that is? Uh, that's Williamson, yeah. Uh, Mo, Mo Carlin, Brian Rollins, probably two of the better returning players for this team, two seniors. Uh, do you look at them and uh, also Jay Cook, the junior, your keeper, do you look at those guys to be the leaders this year? Uh, definitely. I mean, we've got a lot of senior leaders. We've got Jimmy Roots, a senior captain, Elliot Cannon's a senior captain. Um, Jake actually is a senior too. So, I mean, I mean we've got Ryan Pease, Jake Patimo. I mean, a lot of these guys have been starting or, or playing significant minutes um, for at least a year or more. So, yeah, we've got just a, a lot of experience all around, I think, and uh, you know, even, even the newcomers we got from JV are, are very, uh, very experienced players that have, have gotten some good work. Obviously, you have high expectations. Is this a sectionals or bus team? Uh, I, I wouldn't say that. I mean, we're, you never know what can happen. I mean, even the last two years in sectionals, we've had some of our toughest games and um, had to go to PKs, had to go to overtime, and you just try to survive and, and get to the next round is all you can do. And there's there's tons of good teams in, in our class. So, um, you know, if we don't win, it's not going to be the end of the world, but it's definitely our goal every season. So. So several good games on the slate this year for the Geneseo Varsity soccer team. We will be here for a lot of them. He's Coach Chris Masters. 
We're here with Brian Rollins and Mo Carlin. Many of you, the last time you saw them, they were lighting up the backcourt for Geneseo. They trade in the hardwood for the pitch as we prepare for soccer season. Guys, you're both seniors now. Uh, Mo, first to you, uh, what are you looking forward to in this uh, your senior season? I don't know, man. Just have a great season. Have everybody come out ready to go and just win another session of talent this year again. And Brian? Um, I'm looking to have a great season to finish off uh, five years up on the JV varsity level. Uh, I want to make a great run into the sectional title and, and even states if we can make it that far, yeah. Now you guys have had some trouble in sectionals with Williamson. You get them in a regular season game uh, this year. How, how excited are you guys about that? Um, it's always been a competition once we play them, you know. It's a game you just look forward to every single year. And playing them again, we just have to go in with a uh, mindset of, like, you know, rematch like it's our turn but it should be a good game and I can't wait for it and Brian same thing to you uh yeah I'm very excited for the Wilson game and I think it'll be fun in the season but I think we can we will match up against them again after the sectional bracket hopefully and that'll be that'll be even more intense but yeah hopefully we can get the big W in the season all right and we'll get both of you guys out of here on this one Mo going into the season what are your goals for the team and what are the goals for yourself my goal for the team is just be a huge like support you know Go for myself would just be come out every single game and play to my best and leave it all down the field. Even if you don't win, you everybody lose some, but just take everything in and just play for the moment that you win it. And Brian, personal and team goal? Uh, my team goal obviously is to win the sectional championship. I mean, and even if we can go in the states, I want to win a state title. And my personal goal is just to help the team, just help the team win the team goals. Big W over here. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking for a big W. Any shout outs, Mo? I heard you were going to give some shout outs. Um, yeah, I just want to put some shout out to my whole teammates. Shout out to the people that have to go against us. I feel bad for y'all, but it's a game, man. We just come and play for fun, you know? It's tough to get them to stop talking, whether it's basketball season, soccer season, whatever. Brian Rollins, Mo Carlin, looking forward to a very good soccer season in Geneseo. So it's poised to be a very exciting year for both the football and the soccer team here at Geneseo. Hope you've enjoyed this little bit of a fall preview. We look forward to coming out to GCS on multiple occasions uh, to cover the great fall sports teams. For the Genesee Sun, I'm Chris Grant.